Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we're gonna study sums with 8, or those addition problems where the total is 8. And I have again my table where I have all these possible combinations. For example here we have 8, what are those? Cookies, right? You can think of them as whatever kind of cookies you like, like hazelnut cookies or what is it, Matthew? Oh, oh yeah, blueberry cookies. Matthew is going to think of them as blueberry cookies or something. Eight on this side and zero on the other makes eight. Then we flip. We have zero and eight makes eight. And over here, how many here? And, and one? Seven and one makes eight. Or the other way around, one and seven makes eight. And then here, six and two makes 8, and 2 and 6 makes 8. Now notice there is a pattern here. I started with 8, then 7, then 6, and over here I have 5. And then over here I have 0, 1, 2 and 3. There's a pattern that way too. 5 and 3 makes 8, and then 3 and 5 cookies makes 8 cookies. And lastly, this is the even division, or the same amount in both groups, 4 and 4. That would be fair if you had a brother or sister to share with. I want you to remember these different ways to make 8. Different ways to take 8 things and divide them into two groups. And so now let's practice and drill a little bit. Try not to look here. I'm going to point to these problems and you answer as fast as you can. 3 plus how many makes 8? 5. 6 plus how many makes 8? 2. 0 plus how many makes 8? Eight? 8. 5 and how many makes 8? 3. 1 and what number makes 8? 7. And then 4 plus how many makes 8? 4. Good job. One more time. 3 plus how many makes 8? 6 plus how many makes 8? 0 plus how many makes 8? 5 plus how many makes 8? 1 and how many makes 8? And 4 and how many makes 8? Good job. Now, here I have three little berries. Let's say they are lingonberries. Lingonberries grow in Finland, where I'm from. Three lingonberries plus how many more makes 5? I write 3 here. How many more lingonberries to make 5? Can you tell? Two more, right. 3 plus 2 makes 5. And then here is 4 lingonberries and how many more to make 7? Remember your previous lesson, sums with 7. 3 more. How many plus 3 here makes 6? 3, right. Good job. 3 and 3 makes 6. And then how many plus 4 makes 6? I need to draw 2 more here. 2 and 4 makes 6. Lastly, we're going to practice number line addition just a little bit. It's a number line. And we have here an arrow and another arrow. The first arrow goes from 0 to 2. That means 2. And then I add some more. And wherever I end up, see, it ends here at 8. That's going to be the answer. It equals 8. But the other number that goes here is this blue arrow. How long is it? How many units long is it? If you start here and you count the units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it is 6 units long. So this is 2 plus 6 equals 8. Another one. The first arrow goes from 0 to 7, so it is 7 units long. The second arrow, how long is it? How many units long? Here, 1, 2, 2 long. And then we end up at 9. Lastly, we need to draw the arrows for 3 plus 5 equals how much? Would you like to draw, Matthew? No, not at this time. He's letting me draw. Okay. 3. My first arrow is 3 units long from 0 to 3. My second arrow needs to be 5 units long. So I start here and I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Until 8. Right. And the answer is 8. And we're all done with this lesson.